Question number 15. Consider one liter of an acetic acid solution. If you don't know what acetic acid is and you don't even know if it's weak or strong, you can simply look at the data given below and you will see that acetic acid is CH3COH and it is weak because its pKa is given as 4.8. We'll have to figure out what the conjugate is. Okay? Calculate the degree of dissociation of this acid, which is basically alpha. So calculate alpha of this weak acid at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, good. Let's find Safha Fadi. Okay, so this was number 15. To calculate alpha, what you have to do is start with your reaction, which is basically acetic acid, which is CH3COOH. This dissociates in the presence of H2O. It is weak, so it is a double-sided arrow, into CH3COO- minus plus H3O+. Plus. Okay, you have to be faster than this. Initially, what was the concentration of CH3COH? Let's say C. I in general. Okay, I think it was 0 0.1, but let's say C. H2O, non-existent. Initially, let's say this was 0 and this was 0. The change you already know. It's X, minus X. Okay? At equilibrium, this will be minus X. This will be X and X. Now, what is X in terms of alpha? Okay, كلنا نعرف إنه ال X is equal to alpha times C. C is the initial concentration of your acid. So, in terms of alpha, this is C minus alpha C. This is alpha C, alpha C. Okay, of course, you can take C common. 1 minus alpha, alpha C, alpha C. You don't have anything given except the C and the Ka. So you start by saying Ka is now equal to alpha times the C squared divided by C into 1 minus alpha. So this is basically equal to C alpha squared divided by 1 minus alpha. And it's equal to 10 to the power negative addition to Ka. I think it was 4.8. Negative 4.8. We see, I think it was 0 0.1. So you have an equation with only one unknown, which is alpha. You will have probably a quadratic equation. So it's a C 0 0.1. So that's 0 0.1 alpha squared. Okay. And then it's minus alpha times 10 to the power negative 4.8. You bring it to this side, it's 10 to the negative 4.8 alpha minus 10 to the negative 4.8 is equal to 0. Solve the quadratic equation and find alpha, which will be around 0 0.01258. How about a to four significant figures? Okay. So basically, alpha is only 1.2%. 1.25 percent dissociation the carin pH at 10 percent you can neglect ch3 so minus with respect to ch3 soh if the dissociation is less than 10 percent so honeybill calculation of coh uh, of sorry of the pH you can definitely neglect ch3 so minus and you follow the first validity okay so this is I think part a Good. That's part A, alpha of this acid. Part B, what volume of water should be added for alpha to be multiplied by 2, doubled? You are increasing the dissociation, okay, via dilution. You're increasing alpha by diluting the volume. You have to find the volume of dilution, you have to calculate the pH of the obtained solution. Even if alpha is multiplied by 2, by the way, bad can be range of 10%. So going back, this is A and this is B. 
هلا خلينا نشتغل يا ون او برايم وات ايفر يو ونت خلينا نشتغل ان تيرمز اوف برايم الالفا برايم از دبل اوف الفا which is 2 times 0.01258 so that's basically 12 يعني 24 with 5 so that's 25 so that's 0.02516 8016 so this is the new alpha okay good what we have to do is find the new concentration c prime after dilution if i find the concentration after dilution i can find umail concentration before dilution i can find the volume after dilution okay so to find c prime نفس الشيء you go with ka but this time since it's prime it's basically c prime alpha prime squared divided by 1 minus alpha prime in this case you have alpha prime okay you have ka which is 10 to the negative 4.8 all you have to do is find c prime okay alpha prime here Only my quadratic equation, you simply apply one equation to the power of one. Okay? And C prime, it's dilution. C prime has to be lower than C. If it's not lower, يعني في شي غلط بالكالكوليشن. So, if C is 0.1, C prime will be around 0.0244 molar. Check the number, أكيد, okay? And I'm working very fast. Good. And this is C prime. You can start with the simplest thing, which is basically a C is equal to C prime times the dilution factor, or which is basically number of mole before dilution is equal to number of mole after dilution. So this is basically C times V is equal to C prime times V prime. I think until the initial it was one liter, it's true? Yes, one liter. Okay, so I have a C, I think it's 0 0.1 times one liter is equal to C prime, which is 0 0.0244 with times the V prime, which is the volume after dilution. The volume after dilution, who V prime, will be approximately equal to four liters. In the question, Henni Alo, calculate the volume of water that should be added. The volume of water that should be added is not the volume after dilution. The volume after dilution, who with the total volume after dilution, is akin to 1. Usur to 4, it means the volume that you added from 1 to 4 is actually 3 liters. Very simple. Good. Now, you have to calculate the pH. pH, we all know, it's negative log H3O+. plus. Remember that you have your alpha. Remember that you have your alpha. If you have your alpha, H3O+, plus is very easy to calculate. All you have to do, in terms of Korean, and no, Alpha is basically equal to x over c. When I'm still after dilution, so let's give it prime x prime على c prime. Okay, and the law for the equation we have the H3O plus is basically x, it's always x. So that means x prime is basically equal to H3O plus. Then H3O plus is the multiplication of alpha prime times 3 prime c prime so you find alpha prime so you find sorry h3o plus which is 6.14 times 10 to the negative 4 خدو اكتر من 14 okay take more than 14 negative log of h3o plus is equal to 3.25 you can take more than one number as well. And this is the pH and this is number 15. Okay.
Number 16. In number 16, calculate the dissociation constant on modern, not the coefficient, the dissociation constant of weak acid HA if the ionization percent is 60%, and yani the alpha is 0, 0.0, basically 16. Uh, something doesn't make sense soon. Ionization percent is basically the percentage of alpha. It cannot be 60% is the alpha is 0 0.016. I don't know why they didn't correct this this year. Okay, this is basically 1.6%. Tafatna? 0.016 in the solution of concentration 0 0.0950. Okay. Because you solved number 15, and now you know what Ka in terms of alpha is, never job the ICE table on its own. No. Now I know that Ka in terms of alpha is equal to C times alpha squared divided by 1 minus alpha. Okay. C is basically 0 0.0950 times alpha squared which is 0 0.016 squared divided by 1 minus 0 0.016. That's it. And you calculate this. Okay? Number 17. And this is approximately equal to 4.2.47 times 10 to the negative 5. Again, check the numbers. And this is E. Very simple. Number 17. An acid, HA, is placed in a water solution with a molar concentration of 10 to negative 3. Good. You have the acid and its molar concentration. HA dissociates in water according to the following reaction, which you already know. This reaction means in C minus X x x we measure the ph of the obtained solution to be 3.7 you have the ph what is the degree of dissociation it's very simple if i have the ph i can find he3o plus true um okay let's do a straight line here and we can write it here so, if I have the pH is equal to 3.7, I automatically know in the H3O plus is equal to 10 to the negative 3.7. Lambda, this is basically your x. This is basically your x. Okay. And I also have the initial concentration. True? 10 to the negative 3. All I have to do is say that alpha is equal to x 10 to the negative 3.7 divided by 10 to the negative 3. So it is basically 10 to the negative 0 0.7. Okay? How much is that exactly? It's I think 0 0.2 something. Okay? To one, I think. So alpha is equal to approximately 20%. And that's it. Good. Let's stop and start a new recording.